Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So this is basic again and we're going to break away from the saving and loading because that's pretty much cracked all the what's left is to chuck more saves and stuff in, stuff like that. But we're going to come on and do something cool, we're going to do something called hyperspeed or hyperspace and it'll be really really cool. All it is is simply, um, you may have seen it off some shows, warp speed or warp 8 if you know what I'm referencing hopefully. Um, stuff like that and we're gonna do it um, a bit basic but also a bit cool you press H it counts down three two one hyper speed boom and then it your your fire and it'll fire really really fast will eventually make it so you target something and then when it comes into range of it it stops but then after that um, we can actually make it put some sounds in add some particle effects will block the player from turning or firing so everything's shut off and it'll be really cool so it's really really simple to do as well so what we're going to do is go on to our character and on miss scripts we're going to add a new script to it but first we need to create it so we'll go scripts and we'll go into entity player and then we'll type right click folder space and in here we'll put space movement and we'll also create another one called hyperspace and I do have some sounds for it and the cool sounds as well. So JavaScript hyper I want you know, I'll call it hyperspace. I don't know whether to call it hyperspeed or hyperspace. But yeah. So we'll drag this onto Miss Scripts. And we we've already done most of this stuff. It's simply press H, it's on, press H, it's off, kind of thing. So we'll drag it on. And the first thing we're gonna do is create some variables for it. So to store the audio, so we'll say in fact, we'll do one to turn hyperspace on or off. So we'll say private var hyperspace underscore active boolean equals false. So by default, it's off. And um, for the audio, we'll type var audio. We'll just type audio, and it'll be an audio clip, and it'll be an array equal to new audio clip. And it will be the length of our audios, which is two, simply two. So just like that. So don't forget, new audio clip sets the length just by print equals then brackets sets what's inside it. So in here we'll do a basic if input dot get key down h lowercase. Then in here it says hyperspace active equals true. Simple enough. Wait now, if hyperspace is true then it equals false I completely messed up there else hyperspace equals true so if it's true on or off that simple and down here we type if hyperspace equals true then we need to begin actually playing the sounds and then launching hyperspace pretty much so it's really really simple to do as well so if we're having particles for our hyperspace we probably need a game object to be able to access it easily so we'll say var particles I think that's about right game object so in here we'll just say particles come on there particles dot is active true so is active is it's not is active it's set active I messed up there set active is unity's new dot um, dot game object dot uh, active equals true set active bracket true that's simple then here we'll just put we need to reverse everything what we do otherwise we'll get an error so instead of particles dot set active equals false for this why don't we stick the fade out script on it so instead of going particles dot set active we put particles dot get component blah 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 otherwise it'll be kind of like well what's the word for it it'll just disappear and we don't want it to we want it to just fade out slowly it'll be cool but yeah so we've got our basics there so let's have a look at the audio make the particles and get straight into it so if we go into my sounds folder um, these are in the description if I remember I hope so if not comment below and I'll put them straight in and in GUI in space we have two hyperspace start which is this commencing launch sequence in five four three two one hyperspace initiated 
So we've got that one for when you press H, it'll count down, and then we'll have to keep doing checks on it to say whether they press it to cancel it or not. But if they cancel it or it stops, then it'll instantly say this. Hyperspace aborted. Hyperspace. Done. So two really cool ones. Um, they're actually text-to-speech robots I found online. Two. If I can find the one I used because it was so long ago, because these are from my old old space game. I'll put it in the description. But yeah. So let's stick them onto our missed script. So. Start. Oh dear, we've got three. I said two. I didn't say twenty-three. So start is number one. Cancel is number two. Why does it say three if we've only said two? Never mind. Um, particles we haven't got yet, so we need to assign particles. Um, for the particles, I'm just going to use. All I'm going to do is stick a g game object on the character, an empty one, uh, and we'll say particle. In fact, we'll say hyperspace. So we need particles on it, so we've got par, ellipsoid particle emitter, particle renderer, particle animator. Well they're backwards, but yeah. So we're going to basically just play with these just to get a basic drawback, maybe clone it a couple of times, stuff like that. It's really really simple to do, so all I'm going to do is change the size to 3 by 3 probably make it different colours, so, not well, if it's space it'll be blue, purple, green maybe a little bit, just trying to make it look kind of decent. Obviously these colours won't affect it yet because we haven't got a texture or anything on. And we'll just stick a white in there too. So we'll come down and give it a material because it needs one. So if we've got any smoke, yeah, we'll use dark smoke. So as you can see they're all different faded now different colours. So we'll turn the ellipse side to 555 so it's quite big because we want it to absolutely surround the player and we'll say the max energy is 1 1 so it's click 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 on off on off on off on off. Uh, in fact it might look better with 5 because then it builds up. Yeah, play it as 5. And then the max emission will say 200, oh not that many, that'll crash. 200 by 300 so there's a lot of them but then we'll increase the size even more so it blocks the player's view like that. See that's looking good already. So I'm going to drag it to closer this way because we want as many of them as possible blocking the player's view so it's hard for them to see. And then what I'll do is I'll turn simulating world space off because then when we draw it back using the force so Instead of round force, we use force here. We'll say minus one. Okay, we'll say one then. So as you can see, it will now look like the player is flying through space. So obviously the faster we make it, the faster it will be. Well, more realistic. But it will also look like the player's not there. So if we drag it forward more, as you can see, it looks like he's flying through space. Kind of. It looks good. I like it. So I'll turn random rotation on so they'll run, as you can see, they're rotating differently now. Um, I want bigger ones, so we're going to say 6 to get, well, 5. And we'll create some more, so 299, because we need loads of them. So they're everywhere. As you can see, they will go on for a while, so that's why we're going to turn the max energy down, because we don't want too many of them, because the camera's only here. Yeah, that'll do. So as you can see, it's zooming at the player. I'll turn the ellipsoid up more, so 10, 10, 10. And maybe make the force even faster. And the size. That's better. As you can see, it looks like it's moving though, so we might have to turn that down a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Just really play with it. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that. I'm not going to work too much on it because I don't want to take up the tutorial doing it. But you could sit there for hours messing with particles, making it look nice. So we've got the hyperspace bit on, but it actually needs to be disabled. Completely gone. And then what we're going to do is find our fade out script. Fading destroy. So I'm going to open it up and I'm actually going to edit it a little bit. So I'm going to set up here, var should destroy. 
In fact, I'll just say destroy. It'll be a boolean equal to true. So down here we can put if destroy is true, then it'll destroy it. Else, then it'll, we can just say disable. So um, game object dot set active false. So just by them two little very well, that one little variable, we can say whether or not something's going to be destroyed or whether it's just going to disable itself. So we've got that. So when it loads, by default everyone will have true on it, so we don't have to go editing what we've already got. But when this loads, we just untick it, and it works fine. So it'll come on, and then we need to turn fading destroy on in our hyperspace script. So here, so particles dot get component fading destroy dot enabled equals true pretty much and then in our fading destroy obviously we need to turn this script off so here we'll just say that we're going to reset it so it turns the object off the timer needs to be set back to 100 otherwise it will mess up and and with this line here it automatically resets the tint so we shouldn't have a problem there so when we turn it on um, and then it gets to the end of it, it should begin fading out. So if it's false, it'll keep turning this on, which we'll let it go away with. Why not? It might work. So at the moment, it doesn't play any audio, but we can work on that in a minute. So if we've assigned everything, we should be able to test basically it now. So hyperspace there. So we turn it on, and it should start flying at us until we put some times in and everything to turn when it goes on and off. So as soon as it loads we're going to press H and then a rate out of range. Item starts 42. Don't worry about that for now. Press H. Boom. So as you can see we are now apparently flying through space. We're not because we haven't projected ourselves forward or anything. And we can and stuff. But it looks okay. So we press H again. It's a turn it off and we never turned it off. Turn it off else you get an error. Right, so when we press it again, it turns it back on. Which is not what we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re reverse these ones. So when we turn for hyperspace to false, then it enables it. Like so. Otherwise it's not going to touch it. And then when we turn hyperspace to true, then it'll turn them on. Because then it's only calling it one shot and not two. Otherwise we get errors. Now what we can do down here is type function hyperspace on. In fact, we'll just say on. Yeah, uh, on. Yeah. And in here, we can actually use our audio to play whatever we need. And because it's in a separate function and not function update, we can call the yield function. Wrong one. Here. So we can type stuff like yield wait for seconds, and then we put a timer in. So I'll just say two for now. But up here we play audio dot play one shot and we'll say audio zero. So that'll come down, play audio zero, then wait, hopefully. So we've got this, we need to find out what the time is of the audio. Easy enough. So if we go back and find our audio clip, which is miss scripts, and then we find hyperspace start. Here if we click it you can see that the length of it right here on the, where next uh, to mono four, three. Stop clicking it, is zero zero that's the hour then zero seven no that's the minutes sorry my apologies minutes seconds milliseconds so it's seven point six seconds long so we'll just say yield for weight seven point six easy enough so it'll come down read it it'll say on as soon as we press h and then it'll read this audio.play that but the issue is, if we click cancel during it, it's going to play two at once, and we don't want it to. So what I'm going to do is type audio dot stop. Done. So that should work fine, except we haven't got an audio clip on our missed scripts, but we'll put that on. In fact, we'll say particles dot audio dot play one shot. Yes, because then we can put an audio dot audio source on our particles. So last thing I'm going to do before we end this tutorial and carry on next time, because it's going 15 minutes, I'm going to type off, copy this, paste it up here, and put off. 
so that should work so off is on here particles dot stop that's right play number one and then for the length of number one it's we don't really need one because we can just tell it to stop because um, what we're going to do after this yield for, wait for seconds is we're going to turn uh, insert we're going to put after this countdown's active it's going to put the set active equals true so then we go boom so we'll try it and hopefully it works this being a later easy tutorial it has no idea for get component so line 27 where is it there particles dot audio so obviously we can't call it audio that was a mistake of mine audio sound I felt we call it sounds it's easier sounds 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 sound oh wait no just call you two one sounds yes and then something I did forget is we have to put this on so audio source we may get an error here by saying it can't play audio on an inactive object but we can work on that when we get there so let's turn it on and try again so for some strange reason our sounds have disappeared off no idea why let's stick them back on and then try again I don't know why they went that's weird press H you cannot play a disabled audio source so obviously we have to move the audio source from hyperspace and we'll just stick it on miss scripts by okay removing it apparently and then going back audio source just a slight error there come back and we'll just get rid of wherever it says particles dot audio there now we'll try it under 20 minutes we've made basics of it we still need to project it forward and disable scripts but we've done all that before except the projecting bit press h commencing launch sequence in five four three two one hyperspace initiated boom perfect it's getting there a lot of tweaks need to be done but it's pretty nice we press h and it should cancel it hyperspace aborted and then we may need to speed the timer up on that one because that's a bit slow. That's very slow. Let's speed that timer up. But after we've sped this timer up, that's pretty much it. So we'll say 200. So it's fast because we're going to be moving through space here. Then as soon as we click Commencing it, launch sequence in 5, oh, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hyperspace initiated. So as soon as we click H, we're going to be flying through space. It needs to, like, not impact us, but quickly calm down. So as soon as we press H... Hyperspace aborted. That's pretty good. It jumps a little bit. We might have to tweak with that. But it seems to work. So we've got the basics done. I hope you liked it. Please give it a rate if you did. It always means good when I see lots of likes. Dislike it if you must, but comment in the description why, please, so I know how to fix it. Please join my Facebook group and I'll see you next time.